What kind of an intro was that? That's the best I could come up with? That's the best intro you could come up with? Let's roll a proper intro! We will sing, we will dance, we will fall in love. Now that's a proper intro. But let's introduce, introduce, let's introduce, let's introduce Smurf. Hello, Smurf. That's his name. Hello. Hello, hello. His name is Hello Smurf. <laughs> now we're going to have some fun today. It's Hello Smurf Day. So player had just an outstanding session and we're going to watch two games uh, with the same commander commander hello smurf what's that song guys reference hello hello I, I, it sticks in my head but i don't know who it is you know i say hello it's kind of a latin beat thing i guess I don't know. It wasn't a very good song. It's not my kind of music, but it sticks in my head. Come on, Smurfy boy. You're going to have to show us some, uh, some amazing amazingness. He's on the Berlin map. Where, and everyone knows on the Berlin map, you have to go basically to C5 and C6. That's the team that wins C5 and C6 wins. It's the way Wargaming decided. <laughs> they designed this map that way. It's basically... Uh, C5, C6 will be uh, important uh, cubicles. And this Udez is wondering, um, <laughs> hello, who's saying hello to me? Say hello to my little friend. Now, I mean, look at the minimap. Uh, it's that little, you know, if this map was, uh, there's the river, just on the curve of the river there. C, D, 5, and 6. If you have a heavy tank, that's that's where you're supposed to go. Uh, you get in one of those little... Where the, um, where the buildings are, and you get hauled down and do all that stuff. And then you win there and sweep around. But it looks... In this game, for some reason... And Mr. Hallow did not go there. Although his tank would have been quite effective... Uh, in one of those cubby holes. Because it's got uh, great firepower and a decent turret. But you know what? Maybe he's been there before. Uh, and map positioning is very important in this game, and uh, I, I may be full of shit on this one because uh, those, you know, the ruins there where you have to peek through those um, the little uh, ruin windows. Uh, some people know their tank, and uh, it may be that uh, his tank's too low. There's a couple of spots that uh, you know I've played. I get in one of my tanks, and I go, oh, I know this great spot, and I go there. And then my, if you have a squash tank like this one's kind of and he's taking it he's just taking it you're just taking it oh he's taking it ouch you don't want to go around that, that corner blind uh, it's too low so then you can't peer over the rubble and you go what the hell did i come here for right <laughs> they, oh right, wargaming designed this spot for a super conquer <laughs> and then they nerfed the super conquer so now is7s go there you know what I mean? You have to know, um, you got to know the map. Sometimes uh, a good hull down position for one tank is not a good hull down position for another. Uh, for example, I got a perfect example. Uh, El Halouf. Everyone knows El Halouf. You got to go to the rocks, right? Uh, and you got to go like there's two ledges. 
and you got to take your tank with good um, gun depression you got to go on those two ledges and shoot whoever does not know how to play hull down <laughs> basically right so if you got a tank with gun depression you've got to go there uh, that map's designed for that if you have gun depression and you go there you you win the game if your team knows what they're doing and then but if you don't turn in there to go to those two little ledges where you you know you know the spot if you zip all the way to i guess it would be a zero on that map if you go scooting by there and you get to the corner there's this rock on the corner that sticks out rubble that's the perfect height it's it's designed as the perfect height so that if there was a tank that was kind of squashed down kind of a medium height tank uh heavy tank uh that could go 70 kilometers an hour and get there before the other players take that hull down position so they can't shoot him as he scoots across if there was a tank that could with turbo go, go 70 kilometers an hour and get to that spot that had a fantastic turret but wasn't too tall like a super conquer so way faster and stronger turret then it would be like a, a an amazing spot for it if there was a tank like that uh, oh well the is 7 that spot's designed for the is 7 if you know this spot, did you, leave in the comments if you know that spot on el haluf where the rocks are scoot right to the corner there's a cliff and it has a little bit of rubble so you get your is7 you turn you face the enemy you go hull down on that corner and they can bounce 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 till wargaming takes their rng away right and you just just farm 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 <sighs> that spots designed for an is7 the uh uh, the little ridge lines, they're designed for STB1s, Super Conquers, uh, any other tank that has really good. Um, oh, Viham! Oh, Viham's you! You think you're safe sitting in the bush? He was push pushed in the bush. So there's different. Um, uh, you just gotta know where your tank has strength. Oh, he's, he's taking it! You gotta be careful. This guy's got a really good. Oh, he, he hit the dirt. It's a leopard. Oh, the leopard hit the dirt. And the leopard hit the dirt. Ah. Of course, the leopard hit the dirt. <laughs> the le Why did the leopard hit the dirt? He was fidgety with his mouse. Who knows? That was a nice kill. Blind kill on that. Uh, the, this guy, this that guy, right? That, that guy there. You know, he knew he was there. He just blind shot that bush. That was beautiful. So you gotta know where to go. Uh, with your tank uh, and, uh, that's just experience you and not everyone knows all the positions right you, you have a certain tank it's a little flatter a little sh a turrets not as high off the ground it doesn't work well in a certain position that you like to go with your taller tank some of the taller tanks with good gun depression like the super conquer I've mentioned that quite a few times on some of those rounded ridge lines it's better to be taller because your turrets way high and you don't have to get right up onto the ridge line and you you know what I mean? If you're squashed like a pancake, even if you have good gun depression, uh, you, you, your hull still, except for the STB-1 that has the hydropneumatic, right? The whole tank. <laughs> so maybe that's why this guy did not go to the... Uh, uh, this is long-winded explanation of why he did not go right here, where he is now, in these, uh, in these rubble areas, and get into one of these cubby holes. That's why. I'm just guessing. <laughs> and they did add some cover uh, on the uh, HJK line, which used to be just go camp in a bushka and wait. But look at him go. Look at him go. Five kills. Can he get Top Gun? Can he emerge victorious without dying like a Muppet at the end? He's going to try and get as much damage as he can. And then we're going to watch him uh, play another game. Hello. Smurf in a different tank. Then let's see. Let's see if he can. Can he? Can he? Oh, it's an object. Object 257. It's disappeared. Wargaming set. No, it's disappeared. Oh, but the The Shar Footer. The Shar Footer is firing. Uh, he's got 737 HP, so he's got to be careful. The Shar Footer does not know you're here. Boom, and he's penetrated the Shar Footer. 
Come on, you can take out the Shar Footer. Uh, the Shar is concentrating on him now. And here he comes. Here he comes. Oh! Whoa. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Come on, Shar. You want to get hit? Oop, you almost backed into. You almost backed into the water. Okay, the sharp footer fired. He's got four seconds. Oh! Is that a low roll? What's his alpha? Three twenty. How you low rolled? Bad luck. It's a. Did he kill him? Okay. Yep. Sorry. What? What do you mean, Vihamzi? He low rolls. Oh. oh I, duh. I was busy looking at the uh, the roll. I was looking at whether he high ro rolled or low rolled. And the next thing you know, the the sharp footer was kaput. And now, uh, the object two five seven could one shot him. The PZ4 is a moving on in. So where's he going? Ah, right, to the east side. Where are you going, buddy? What's he doing? Is he going to get into the dip here and try and get hull down? The object was... Where's he going? I'm not really sure. I, he may be going to cap because uh, the object could go in the bushes there. He'll let the PZ handle him. And he's, maybe he's lost. Maybe he's confused. It happened so fast. He didn't know what he was doing. He was confused. Not sure why he went for a little drive there, but uh, hey. Hello, Smurf. Uh, 5,825 uh, damage, six kills. And uh, hey, without a premium account, Wargaming would have taken credits from you. So I think we got to give him a little credit there. Uh, he was going for the cap, right? He was a one-shot. Uh, that Russian tank could have trolled him, you know, shoot him, a uh, critical hit, uh, taken him out. It could have, the Russian tank could have been hiding in the bushes or setting up a, you know, if he was in the bushes, he'd, he'd uh, set up an ambush. So he did not want to jeopardize the victory. So I think what he was doing was just going for Going for the win. And he said, PZ4, if you can take him out, we win. And uh, if you don't, uh, I'll, I'll be capping. Although I think, let, let's say the Russian tank took out the PZ4. Uh, he, he probably would have made it, been able to make it across the map to try and reset. So he would have had to defend in the cap or leave the cap or do something. But he, he uh, that's probably a good, he made the right call is what I'm trying to say. The worst thing he could have done is just blundered forward uh, and died, <laughs> right? That would have been... Because you, you don't help your team by dying. Ooh, his teammate almost... Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that Tiger 2. Tiger 2 does not enjoy being a Tiger 2 right now. He's thinking, why don't I have the Tiger 3? The Tiger 1 sucked, now I'm in the Tiger 2. Is there a Tiger 3? He was just driving. Dum -de dum 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 The game's starting. Oh, which button? Maybe I'll press the W key. <laughs> Do -de -dum -de -dum. Oh, let me just have a sip of my drink. Oh, -de -dum -de -dum. oh Daddy! Daddy, I've lost all my HP! <laughs> the poor. The poor, poor. Oh, someone someone exploded. Is he not spotted? Because he, he's been sitting here precariously while he's been low. I guess he was a uh, stealth. He's got very good concealment values. Because uh, he was in the open there while he was uh, loading. Dangerous. Very dangerous. But he managed to uh, take two shots. Incidentally, he's uh, he's called this particular game, this replay, he said camping works so and uh, I think the reason he says that like you noticed in the other game he did not camp he, he played aggressively he took good map position if I just showed you this replay you you guys would say oh he's just a camper 
farmer. No, no, no. He's uh, typed, uh, you know, use the defend the base now. This guy watches the, the uh, battle unfold and changes his strategy uh, if things are not going well. And so he went to the, uh, the typical flank where usually there's a, a one on one or a five on five or eight on eight fight for all the heavy tag. He went there, he got a couple of shots. And now he's realized it's kind of a stalemate there. He's good. You know, all of his heavy tanks went there. There's some enemy heavy tanks, but they've completely lost the AB line, the other flank. And you may say, well, he should have went to that flank. Well, he did. Right? He had a plan, but he looked at the mini map and he realized, whoa, you see the leopard PTA? He did not look at the mini map. <laughs> he just exploded. You look at the mini map and you'll notice that the enemies have pushed on force in the north on the a b line and so well, he, I, maybe he was at, intending on going south and pushing and clearing that out and then flanking he had a plan in mind but uh plans never work right the plan is only as good as uh, uh what's the saying plans are only as good until they have to change or something you make the best plan and it never works right in, in real life, you make the plan and in the first few minutes something goes wrong. The best commanders are those that can react to what went wrong and change the plan. Now, if you just blindly... <laughs> we're going over the hill! But we just discovered that the enemy is on, in force there aiming 20 machine guns at us. You know, blow the whistle and say, we're going over the hill! <laughs> that doesn't work. There have been some dumb commanders that have done that. There's been some dumb, dumb Yag Tigers <laughs> that have done that. There's been some dumb Cobras. <laughs> Look at the Cobra. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You have <laughs> idiots, says the M40, M43. Did he die? The M40, M43 died. Idiots. Why didn't you? The, the artillery's calling his team idiots. Why didn't you look at the minimap? There are various bushes that you could have went and hid in. <laughs> Why didn't he get in a bush? He prefers to call his team idiots. You look at the map. Obviously, they've lost the north flank. The artillery is just camping there. Idiots! <laughs> you have a W key. Why did you just drive into one of the bush and stay stationary? Don't fire your gun. You know, back up, take your shot, and get back in the bush. No, just die and call your team idiots. Okay. So, anyways, he's react. Now, is, just watch this, okay? Because they're losing five eight. They're down by five thousand HP, and I would not have featured Hallo Smurf unless it was a great uh, strategy decision. This is not camping. This is um, this is defending. This is. This is defending. He is defending. His teammates are dying. <laughs> well, they're trying your best. Not everyone can defend from this position because uh, if he, you would be, the, the enemies would be required to drive into his white circle. You see, his green circle is actually a little smaller than the white circle. They would have to get inside. If you look at the mini map, his green circle for him. To, uh, to even have a chance of detecting them. He's got some teammates like the STRV, S1, and that, uh, who's the other guy? The T, uh, the T-103. Oof. Uh, that are, they're spotting, right? Like they spotted that PZ-4 that he just shot. PZ-4 bounced the shot, probably pissed off. Doesn't know that he bounced the shot. And now he's stunned. So the enemies know they're here, but they can't see them. In order for the enemies to detect him, they would have to be inside that white circle. Same, you know, because of geometry. I'm not going to explain it again. So they would have to be inside the white circle and he would have to kind of move to the bush and shoot and fire. So that his concealment drops to almost zero. And then, like, maybe what this guy did. <laughs> right? There's no one that I see on the minimap that's inside the white circle, except possibly the KPZ 50D. There he is. No, but he's behind the rock. So there's no one that can detect him. So even though he has not bushed himself, watch, he is not uh, bushed. I don't know why he's not firing. 
Okay, it's not pushed. Now the T103 is inside his white circle. The T103, but he's behind the rock. There's no one inside the white circle. No one will detect him, even though he has not pushed himself. And when he goes into sniper mode, uh, he's not pushed. That bush is within 15 meters of him. So he's not using bush mechanics, okay? He's using... Um, uh, the enemies are too... They're out, out of uh, the maximum detection range. He should, as they get closer, back up and bush himself or he's going to be uh, in trouble. The KPZ-50T could come around the corner and make it to... Look at the minimap. He could make it to, like, here. I think there's a little... If he makes it there, he could detect them. Beautiful. Enemy armor is destroyed. And now it's... They're still losing, 8-11, but they've... Narrowed the margin. And now they're losing by 2,008. Oops. Oops. Oh, bad RNG. He's just staying stationary. If it works, you know, don't mess with it. There's still nobody that can detect him. They, they know he's here, don't they? Do they have an art artillery? Yeah, they got an FV-207. Why they're not telling their artillery to pound this position, uh, I'm not sure. Although they did kill his teammate, so maybe, uh, you know, they don't think there's another one here. Okay, where is he? Oops. See, he's not... Oh, 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 there, there, there. Now. No, that guy's behind the rock. The KPZ cannot detect him because he's around the corner. Let's just keep watching. Oh, there, the W's, uh, the PZ-4. Can the PZ-4 detect him? Yeah, if he fires his gun now, the PZ-4 will detect him. So he readjusts. But now the PZ-4 is pulled back. He is not using bush mechanics. He's just... Just defending. And his teammates are doing a good job of keeping the enemies... Lit. They're in much more dangerous positions. There you go. His teammates are going to get a lot of spotting assist. There, that guy's been detected. He's gone. He's still got two teammates. But now they're only losing by a thousand HP. So you can call it camping. Or you could call it defending. In some cases like this, like the teammates get pissed off, right? What are you doing back there? Well, he's, he's going to help win the game is what he's doing. Teammates are doing uh, their job and they're going to end up with... Oh, okay, wait. Oh, now he is, he's shrubbed. He's not pushed. Oh, okay. That shrub is, is protecting him. That's beautiful. Oh. Trolled. Trolled on the last shot. The shrub <laughs> protect. He, that's why he didn't get detected. The KPZ was was bushed. There was a bush in between them, but it wasn't like him using the bush. It was just the, a fortuitous bush, a lucky bush. And this game could go either way. But now it's only a 43 HP difference. And he's got to be careful now because that KPZ could be sneak. Okay, let me pause it. The KPZ could win this game if he just does this. If he just sacrifices himself and he... Look at the minimap. If he drives along the edge of the map like this and proxy spots this guy. These guys might kill him. But he'll proxy spot that guy and these two guys will kill him. And maybe the artillery. will come Because th this guy is the... This is what's holding it together for, for the enemy team. Oh, and he, the guy's blind shot him. And now... That's the kill shot. So did he get detected by the... No, I don't know where the KPZ is. So he's having... I, I would say there's a little bit of luck here because you're not actively using the bushes properly. But it's working out. Now, I... Oh, there, there's the Char. The Char is coming. Go for the roof. The roof. He does not want to fire the KPZ, maybe uh, his little sphincter got too small and he and he ran away. Uh, got a ghost shell. One out of three ain't bad. <laughs> but now they're winning by 500. There he is. Uh, 
the enemy said this is a difficult position to dig out. But they know he's here. This guy's full HP. He could actually drive down there now and handle the KPZ once he's fully loaded. Is he going to do that? Is he going to say... Oh, yeah, they, they know he's here. So he's... Yeah, he's, he's going to time it now. And he's going to surprise Mr. KPZ, right? He's going to surprise him. He's going to say, Hello! Smurf is here. KPZ just... He does not know what to do. He's proxy spotted. And this guy has no idea what he's doing. Surprise! He just did not know what to do. And all he had to do really was drive along that edge there. And he's stunned right along the edge there and, and spot this guy. But he did not. Well, he would have got killed. He would have got killed by the other guy. So, uh, easy to say, but he, he couldn't do it. Now he's detected. Boom. Oh, he bounced. Oh, yes. And now he's got some work to do. There's only a minute and 58 seconds. He's got to go handle the Char Footer. 748 HP guys, he's only got two shells. I don't know. Oh, one of his teammates helped him. Good, go for a reload. Go for a reload and go get him. Who was it that helped him? Oh, he knows where he is now. Was it the STRV? I think it was the STRV guys. The STRV uh, took a shot. Or it might have been the TSV. I, I don't know which one it was, but teammate helped him. Because I don't think two shots would have killed. Uh, what's his alpha? 360? 740? It would have been close. If he low rolled, no. If he high rolled, yeah. So it would have been up to Wargaming. And, and would you really ever leave it up to Wargaming? You're going to get trolled nine times out of ten, right? You can't leave it up to Wargaming. So if he had the time, go for a reload. But he didn't have the time. So he just uh, he just went for it. And now you just gotta go. You you've got full HP. You just you just gotta go, buddy. You gotta go. Uh, the STRV is fast. I don't know what he's doing. Isn't that STRV fast? Oh, he's going to another part of the map just to check. Cut the guy off. Oh, but he found him. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> well done. Well done. You guys think that was gonna be a victory? Uh, two games. 13 kills. And we were singing and dancing and falling in love. Well played, my friend. Well played. Again, not a premium account. Lose credits on that game. Because <whistles> he shot nothing but premium ammo. Leave some comments, guys. Uh, let Hello Smurf from the OM clan. Shout out to you guys. Uh, let him know how, how great a job he did. Because I think uh, those were two fantastic games. I will catch you guys on the next one. We can sing. We can dance. We can fall in love.